what's up guys today we're going to talk about office 365 so what is office 365 well this is the microsoft cloud platform so every time you hear someone say i've got my data in the cloud with microsoft then it can be office 365 or it can be microsoft azure but we're not going to talk about azure at least today we'll only focus on office 365. so the first thing we need to do is to create our office 365 tenant so I've opened the browser already and we're just going to type Office 365 plans and see what we get. So if you scroll down a bit, we can see that we have compare all Office 365 for business plan. So we're going to click on that link. And there on the top, you can see that we have all the plans that Microsoft is offering for Office 365. So you have business, business essentials, business premium, and so on. But the ones that you actually see on the page there are the most common plans that are purchased by the customers. So what we're going to do for this demo, we're going to choose the most common and the most popular, which is the plan E3. So the price you see here are the prices by user per month. Okay, so let's click on learn more. And if you scroll down on this page, you have more information about why would you choose this plan and why is it going to uh, include, uh, but I'll let you go through it. And we are going to create our tenant on uh, clicking on free trial. So now this is the page where you start creating your tenant. So the first thing is to choose your country. So this is very important because like it says, this cannot be changed after the sign up. And if you click actually on the link, it will give you more information as to why you cannot change it. Then we have first name and last name. So you can put your real name if you want to, but for the purpose of this demo, I can, I can put just some fake names because I know I'm not gonna actually keep this tenant. So there's a 30 days trial for this tenant. And after that you go in uh, reduce functionality. So there are a few things that you cannot do. So it's very important at this stage when you create your tenant that you understand that if you plan already to keep it after, do not enter some fake names or random names. But for this demo, we're just gonna um, do things kind of randomly. So I'm just gonna put John Doe. So then we have um, business email address and business phone number. So for the email address, this is an external email address because this is simply uh, going to be used to contact you about um, anything related to the tenant. So here I'm going to put my uh, real email address. Yeah. Here we go. Done. Um, business phone number, same story. I'm going to put my real uh, phone number on it. Mm, up done then we have company name so this is the name that's actually gonna appear in the organization profile uh, once you are in the tenant so just for my demo i'm just gonna put my demo and go then you have the organization size so again it doesn't really matter at this stage this is just for information really there's no real impact so i'm just going to choose something random and then you can click on next so once we're in here it's very important to understand that what you're going to put in here will be your user id to log into office 365 for the very first time you get to choose your tenant name as well and this is very important because the, this cannot be changed after and then you choose a password for the user. So for me, um, let's say it's gonna be John D and I'm gonna put my demo one, two, three, five. 
And let's see if that's available. Yeah, it's available. And then I'm just gonna choose a password. There you go. Up, should be okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. Uh, you can choose as well if you wanna be uh, um, in touch with uh, Microsoft and receive some emails and um, um, phone um, contact as well. Uh, just for some information. I'm not going to click that because that's just a demo anyway. Um, and then I'm going to click on create my account. Then I need to prove that I'm not a robot. So I need to enter my phone number. So for me, it's going to be in the UK. So I'm going to put uh, 44 and then I'm going to enter my phone number. Up. I'm going to click on text me and I should be receiving my code in a few minutes. Uh, now I've received my code. Mm. Up. And then you click on next. And we just need to wait for a few seconds. And that should be it for the tenant creation. Here we are. So you can keep that for later if you want, but you can actually access your tenant um, just by the portal.office.com um, all the time. You just need to uh, remember your user ID that you see here on the screen. And then we just need to click on your ready to go. And things will be setting up for a few minutes because it needs to be provisioned um, into the Microsoft uh, data center. So you can click on next there if you want to, just to get some uh, info, click next, and it will just give you a, a tour or what things look like in here. And yes, I get it. And so, I'm just going to pause the video and once this is uh, set up, it should just take a few minutes, then we can have a look at this. So now after um, roughly 10 minutes, um, everything is set up and all the tiles that you see there on the screen, it's because I'm automatically assigned a license. So that's why um, you can see everything. Um, so you can see there, uh, so I'm logged as a Gen John Doe. And now if we want to access the tenant, we simply have to click on the admin tile that you see in here. And we'll get access to the tenant because remember that we are assigned a license and we are also uh, by default, because that's the first user in the tenant, we are also um, a global admin on the tenant. So then you can um, uh, navigate through the tenant. You can click next there if you want to. That will give you a tour again of how things are set up in here. Um, I can close that right now. And here we are on the tenant. So on the next videos, we will just go through the tenant and do some other things like assigning licenses, uh, create users, and so on. So stay tuned and we'll see you in another video. Video coach,